LFO is an augmented LFO modulator in max for life format. It expands the possibilities of the classic cycling envelope by adding control over a set of advanced and unique features. Its interface is conceived to be easy to grasp and recalls the most standard low-frequency oscillator plugins with clear oscilloscope and labels. On the other hand, LFO is also filled with one-of-a-kind parameters next to the more common ones, which give it a pretty distinctive character. The leftmost side of the device is where the frequency settings are located. It is possible to set the modulation frequency to be either in pure hertz, in a so-called free mode, or in sync with the project's tempo using different measurements in relation to the current BPM. When in free mode, a reset button allows for phase resetting as well. Above the oscilloscope we can find settings for phase, a pretty standard one, swing and bend. The latter two are used to change the modulation cycle dynamics. With swing it's possible to apply a swing similar to the one used in MIDI sequencing to the waveform. While bend is used to bend the waveform, changing its shape and affecting the progression of the assigned modulated value. By exceeding 1, the waveform is going to change from linear to exponential, while it's going to be logarithmical when bend is set below 1. Right under the oscilloscope there are controls for changing the modulation basic waveform. It's possible to either click on a shape and immediately jump to that precise setting, or use the slider below to dynamically morph between the different options available. In the next session we can find other peculiar parameters such as squeeze and transform. Squeeze is used to compress the waveform in order to get a certain amount of cycles happening in between the defined frequency. Transform is for modifying the waveform when it exceeds the oscillation boundary of 1. The different transformation modes available are Clip, which clips the value and holds it at 1 Fold, which mirrors the exceeding portion of the waveform upside down and Wrap, which transposes the exceeding portion of the waveform to its lower range. It is also possible to use gain to amplify the waveform and obtain a more radical transformation. In the last section, it's possible to activate an internal sample and hold circuit that allows for quantization of the modulation values according to a specified time resolution. This is also reflected on the oscilloscope for a better view of the resulting output signal.